My name is Annie Parker, and I'm very pleased to be here working with the Arizona Oncology Foundation. I am a patient advocate. I am a three-time cancer survivor, and I just want you to know that you can beat cancer. The medical profession is very important to me, and actually I wouldn't be here today without the medical profession. But I do have to tell you that I was very frustrated and angry many years ago after I lost my mother and my sister to breast cancer. In my gut, I knew that there had to be a hereditary connection with my family. I would run off to the doctor for every ache and pain, suggesting perhaps that there was something going on within my family. And they always said that breast cancer wasn't hereditary. You couldn't catch it like a common cold. All I wanted at the GP level, general practitioner level, was them to take my concerns seriously. Even if they were just going to put notes in my file to say that she had lost her mother at the age of 52, her sister and a cousin before the 40th birthday. But I really felt that I was getting a pat on the head and told to go home and that it was all psychosomatic. But remember, this was many years ago. This was in back in 1980s. My mother actually was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was carrying me. She chose not to do anything about her breast cancer at that time. She waited till I was born. Cancer was a closet disease back in the 50s and 60s. So when I lost my mom, she, she basically hit the floor in our home on my mom and dad's anniversary. And I never saw my mother alive again. So I never got to say goodbye. And it was during my mom's funeral that I actually learned that she had breast cancer and that this cancer that took her life was a secondary cancer. I became very, very close to my sister after that point. And then in 1978, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and she was very open and honest with her diagnoses. Two years later, she passed away from breast cancer. My family suffered terrifically and horribly from this disease because it just doesn't affect the patient. It also affects the family. I firmly believe that my father died of a broken heart because once my mom died, he just couldn't pick up the pieces. I think what kept me from really going crazy was the fact that I just had to find some answers, keep my mind occupied, pretend, even though I didn't have initials behind my name, I just wanted to see if what my gut feeling was about breast cancer um, was real or not. It's what drove me, my fear, my anxiety. In 1994, which is when I heard from my oncologist that Dr. Mary Claire King, a U.S. geneticist, had discovered this gene mutation. You know, again, medical, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for my doctors. So I think they were as stunned as I was that there was actually a gene mutation. I kind of applauded them because they were actually very good with me. And a couple of my doctors said, I'm so sorry, Annie, we, you know, we didn't know that this was what was going to happen. So uh, I have a great relationship with my doctors. So we, we talk about it on occasion today and, and have a chuckle about it because uh, I maintain my sanity and found out there really was a gene mutation. So all's good. What happened from there, it was kind of unique. I got a call from uh, San Jose Tech Museum and they wanted to do a whole exhibit around the new genetic findings. At the time, they also wanted to interview my family. So that's how it really came full circle. They realized that they really needed to take this seriously and this discovery was going to help answer a lot of questions for a lot of people in my family. It's my hope through the movie, Decoding Annie Parker, and also the memoirs that I've written, Annie Parker Decoded, that this will give people options, options that I never had. I don't consider it my story. I consider it so many people's stories. I, I have been blessed. I knew that it was something that my mother and sister would want me to do. I've had so many people come up to me thanking me for this, but it, they've, they've equally got a, a horrific story to tell, and they are breast cancer survivors like I am. I would absolutely tell somebody that has been diagnosed with breast cancer to take empowerment over their body. Work with their medical professionals. Who knows their body better than your own self? So when you know that things aren't going right within, that you actually have to keep on doctors and let them know that something is wrong. I just wanted people to know that I'm not extraordinary, that if they fight the fight, 
that cancer can be beaten. 